Hey guys, this week uh, we're just gonna do a bit of a Q&A. We put a post up on Instagram just to get some of your questions. Okay, so we'll just jump into these. Uh, if I mispronounce any usernames or anything, I'm sorry, but I'll give it my best shot. First questions by Shipman Sonara. Uh, what's your favorite thing about owning a four-wheel drive? It sounds just like any other answer you probably hear, but just being able to get out and see places that we normally wouldn't be able to see. You know, driving down the beach, getting out on hard tracks, all that sort of thing. So sort of just a really practical car and good way of getting out there. Francis0608, what are you grateful for this year? Um, I would say a new job. I just started a new job about two months ago and having the chance to get out and go on weekend trips, that sort of thing. That one brown dog, any future trips coming up? Nothing sort of planned just yet. Um, we're thinking about maybe trying to do a Glasshouse Mountains run, get up there and have a look around and see some of the tracks. Apart from that, it's more just sort of uh, weekend trips planned at this stage. Um, just starting a new job. I won't sort of be able to take um, any extended period of time off for a while. So sort of exploring our local area up to a few hours around sort of thing just over the weekend. Jazz, would you do anything differently if you started the car all over again? Um, probably. It's hard to say that because a lot of what I've done with the car now, it's because of things I've learned or wanted to change from other things that I did. If I knew from the start, I wouldn't have had the original, you know, draw set up and drop slide. Um, I would have just done it this way from the start. But that being said, you know, I'm happy knowing what that setup was like, knowing the benefits of this one over it and that sort of thing. Apart from that, nothing major, just, little things here and there, I would have used, you know, a better quality product from the start rather than sort of try out one and then, yeah, not be happy with it and have to change over anyway. Uh, Joshua Brown, do you use wet wipes to keep your undercarriage clean? Um, hopefully he's talking about Pedro. No, I just use a gurney and degreaser and stuff. Um, Off-road touring, how did the name Pedro come about? Um, basically, long story short, my wife sort of got into the habit of naming a lot of cars that either I had or her brother had or whatever. Really just sort of came about like kind of as a joke when we got it. Um, I think around the time we had not long watched uh, Napoleon Dynamite and it just sort of came from there. Um, on the old sliding window, we had a Vote for Pedro sticker up there and it just sort of stuck. Um, no real reason for it, just one of those things. Jack White 54, uh, what 12 volt system are you running and why? Did a video just more like in depth, but it's the C-Tech um, D250S, I think it is, um, with the C-Tech Smart Pass system. I just went with that um, when I was sort of putting the 12 volt system together and been really happy with it. The smart pass that we added changed it completely. Um, it worked well before, but the smart pass just, yeah, makes it really, really good. Yeah, it just charges a lot quicker with solar or just when we're running the car off the alternator. So really happy with that. Kaya 14, KY. IAH14. Why do you happen to have the best all round rig um, if I win it's going on the snorkel? Um, I don't know. I don't think it is the best all round rig, but thank you. <laughs> Nick Williams Oz, when are you selling it to get a cruiser? Well, I'm not going to ever, even if there's a fire. Never gonna happen. <laughs> I do like some Land Cruisers, but you're either a patrol guy or a Land Cruiser guy. I like the 79 series single cabs, 
but I don't really want to spend like 70, 80 grand on something with different width diffs um, and nothing on the inside and leaf suspension. But yeah, some of them are nice. Uh, Brayden McKay, uh, when are you cutting the rear off and making it a ute? Um, I've had that suggestion thrown at me a fair bit and I've thought of it too, but uh, really the rear of the car is just too um, sort of fitted out and that uh, it would just be wasting a lot of money if I just cut the back off. A lot of things would completely have to be redone, like the water system, all the electrical, um, the drawers would be useless, the emu wings are useless, um, roof racks are useless, all that sort of thing. Um, I just wouldn't do it at this stage. It's just too far gone. It'll stay a wagon. Uh, no thanks, mate. Have you had your wagon on a waybridge? Yes. Um, I had it on a waybridge back with the old setup, the Ironman drawers and the drop slide. There was a fair few different things with the car back then. Um, it didn't have like the water tank in the middle. Um, the rear bar was a bit different, yada yada yada. Back then, uh, with nothing in the fridge, I don't think there was anything in the drawers. I can't remember if there was anything different apart from um, what I just mentioned, but uh, it was around 2.86 ton, I think. So I haven't had it on there with this current setup. Probably a bit scared to actually have a look. I will get it on there one day just to have a look and you know fill all the tanks up and get a full weight. But uh, no, I haven't the way it is. Just Harry, does your right boot also produce 36 PSI when fully spooled? Um, I don't think so. I'm not that quick of a runner, so no. Um, Eddie Cullen 4x4, how much have you spent on the car servicing and mods? If I told you, you probably wouldn't believe me. I've got a receipt folder there with everything I've ever spent on the car, um, even just like coolant, oils, that sort of thing. Anything that mates have done for me or I've bought in cash, I've kept like a log of that. I have added it up a fair while ago, like. 18 months ago or more and it was yeah it's getting up there it's um more than you think and more than it probably should be including the car it's definitely uh six figures I'll just put it that way um eddie cullen's got a youtube channel as well so go check out his channel he's got some really good videos on that isha's gq if you were a flotation device, what would you be? Um, a rubber ducky, something like that. Blake2517, any internal engine mods? If so, what are they? Or is there going to be any in the future? Uh, the only internal mods um, on the engine was a custom grind on the camshaft. Um, when it was getting built to suit the turbo setup a bit more. Apart from that, it was just rebuilt to like turbo spec, I guess you call it. The only thing in the future may be a billet crank, um, if I need to go that way. And if I did that, I'd go the 4.5 litre stroker kit. I don't really have any plans to do an engine conversion. Uh, if I was, it'd probably be something like a Cummins or a Duramax, but I like this engine. Um, gets good economy, power and torque, runs well. And the other thing is, I've gone through a fair bit of engineering stuff, so, you know, I wouldn't have to re-engineer the car if I rebuilt this thing um, and just put the stroker kit in it. Rob's Life, 1989, partner or the dog, on a serious note, since owning the rig, what's the one thing you have left the same as when you bought it? Um, well, I'd choose Steph over the dog. Um, don't ask her that question, because she'll pick the dog. The one thing that I've left the same as when I bought it is, it's a good question. Um, the steering wheel, that's the same. 
and I think that's about it. The gear knob and the windscreen, that's probably all that's the same. Jonesy01, if you could spend the time and money with the exact same mods as the GQ on another vehicle, what vehicle would you choose? Um, same mods, so if we were talking another wagon, I'd probably just give you the boring answer and say a GU, like a Series 4 wagon. Apart from that, it'd be like a ute with a canopy setup or something like that. R L H Y D N. Um, why are you considering a ute? <laughs> I was. Um, I do like the idea of building a ute up and having a custom like lift off canopy on it, um, just to make camping, you know, that extra bit easy. Like you can just set up drive the ute out from underneath and go for a drive. I probably won't be doing that. Um, if I do get a ute, I think I'll just be keeping this and shove it in the shed and just have both, because I don't think I could actually part with this. I'll never get not even a quarter of the money I've spent on it back, and I know that absolutely everything on it's right. Yeah, I know all its, you know, ins and outs, so. But yeah, just, I love utes, um, I've always wanted a GQ or a GU ute and I'll get one one day. Uh, Jace and Steph 23, at the movies which armrest is yours, um, whichever one Steph lets me have. The one on the side she's not I suppose. GA Robertson 411, how and who did you get to engineer your 35s and what expense, time and money wise did it cost you? Cheers. Um, I got Ray Sargent in Ballina, New South Wales to do it. Um, it was a long and complicated process. Um, basically there's a lot of crap I had to go through. But when I changed to GU diffs, basically that meant as long as you changed it to GU diffs with GU brakes and steering, technically you can go engineer to the size biggest that a GU can get, which according to all the figures and stuff that I could get to him was a 315-7017. So it's not actually a 35, it's about 34.4 inch tire, I think. Yeah, it was a long drawn out process, but basically I got it re-engineered for GU diffs and the 315-7017s. I think that cost around $800 or so, from memory. That was just adding on to previous modifications that I'd had engineered, like the lift, uh, the turbo, intercooler, yeah, all that sort of stuff. Uh, Tyler Pine, P-Y-N-E-E. Uh, what's your favorite mod on Pedro? That's a hard one. Um, probably something like the Emu Wings or um, like just the rear fit out. Um, I'm just really happy with that draw set out, the way it works and everything. And the Emu Wings just make it a lot sort of easier to get into and um, you can set it up sort of more custom, I guess. Apart from that, probably something like the Shocks. Um, King Shocks, they just changed the way the car drove, so I love them. Uh, Matt XG, do you have a rooftop tent mostly for function and truly wish you were in a swag, or do you really like the rooftop tent? Um, I really like the rooftop tent. Um, I'm just not much on swags. Um, if I was going to change something like that, I'd probably give the jet tent uh, bunker a go but yeah we really like the rooftop tent and I'm terrified of snakes so there's less of them up there. Uh, L Davis 03 um, have you done the Birdsville run and what exhaust is Pedro running? Uh, no Luke I haven't done Birdsville run but I want to. The exhaust is a three and a half inch stainless um, system um, right off the back of the turbo all the way through. Just a friend of mine made it all up for me. Uh, Alex Wild, how do you go traveling with the missus so often? 
do you let her drive it all or do you lose too much hair from that? Um, I love it. We get on really well and just like spending time together. She likes it as much as I do, so that always makes it easy. She can drive whenever she likes. I drive for a living, so I'm more than happy to sit over in the passenger seat and have a drink or something like that. Uh, but she just doesn't really like driving that much and I'm happy to do it, so. Thumpfree33, uh, if you could own one other car, what would it be? If I could only own one other car apart from this, I wouldn't say a GUU or something. I'd probably go for a different type of car. Um, maybe just something like a Malu Ute or something like that. I've always been big on HSVs and that sort of thing, so they're just really nice. So that's all the questions. Thanks guys for um, commenting on the post and putting some up. Some of those are really good. Uh, we'll leave the two winners in the description box below. So just check to see if you're a winner. Um, if you are, then just send me a message on Instagram and I'll send you out that sticker. All right guys, that'll do it for this week. Thanks for commenting the questions. Um, it's always good to um, talk to you guys and see what you want to know. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching this one. We'll see you next Friday.